Oh. My. God. Becky. <laughs> What's up, Carter? What is happening? Everybody, we must look at Sub-Zero looking into the distance like he lost his bird. A little bird. Ooh, look, they can be holding hands. That's what they're doing. One of the trailers in front of the car burned to the ground. Whoa. Wow. Hopefully, everybody... hopefully people are okay. Hopefully everybody's okay. Hopefully. Okay. Over here for a second. Got to start that stream raider action. You could see the smoke in the distance on the freeway. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, artillery. Unlock it! Yes! I unlocked my artillery! This music's jumping. I have no idea, but the sidewalk is a mess with all the flame retardant foam. Nah. Ah, that's crazy. Ah, uh, here we go. Hey, what's up, Alex? I'm doing good, man. I'm just doing a little stream today. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. I got a couple meetings tomorrow. Um, and I have something going on at noon today, but I thought, you know, I don't like waking up and just getting to work. I like, especially when it's a big project. So I kind of like waking up and having something kind of fun to mess around with. Gets my brain going. So I'm good. Setting up some stream rates. <clears throat> okay i uh there is a new update not just the 0.6 but a 0.1 a 0.6.1 it's a little louder than me sorry about that i don't know how that changed but there it is so there is a brand new there's a there's a new update for updates uh i guess some bug fixes and such so definitely updated that this morning which looks pretty good let's see here i'm gonna go over here to x and d source uh we'll see i think there i think i have some uh skin brushes here i can download aha skin and scales too Download all. I love the skin and scales brushes. Let's go back. Can also just go to ZBrush brushes. Maybe some fixes. Yeah, there's some fixes for sure. There's there was some definite issues happening across the board. So I think they went ahead and just fixed that. There we go. And here is more skin brushes. If you guys don't have the XMD brush kit, they're not a sponsor or anything, but I thought they were a little overrated. Then I got them. I'm really happy with them. It's nice just to not always have to make a brush, especially when you're just trying to play around. So um, I definitely recommend them. They're fun. Let's see here. All right. 
We're not going to go too different, but we'll use we'll use the similar one. Definitely got to smooth down some of that weirdness. There we go. Oh, it's better? Okay, great. Yeah, I don't know how it got <laughs> a little louder. I haven't changed my settings in a while. But whatever, you know. What can you do? Okay. There we go. Okay. Getting some of that skin texture on there. There we go. All right, let's go to his face. And let's go back here. And we definitely want to play a little bit with some of these other ones. Use the skin one for just basic. But then... This knuckle, knuckle, porous. Let's click this one. go let's go to render let's go to preview ao let's turn that bad boy on it's a lazy mouse is on for some reason there we go Let's actually hold smooth, and we're going to go down to smooth peaks. Kind of tone some of this down a little bit. Bonjour. What's up, Martin? How you doing, buddy? Surprise, I decided to stream today. There's not going to be a stream tomorrow, guys. Um... I got too many things going on tomorrow. So, just a heads up. Very last minute, so just threw in a another stream today. Plus, I just wanted to get into Sub-Zero more today. Doing pretty good in yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. Yeah, we're going to do just a little bit of uh, yeah, I'm going to take the damn standard and we're going to just kind of make his own like forehead wrinkles. Help also exaggerate some of the things going on with his head. Need to make his uh, eyebrows a little bit more puffier. Mm -hmm. Have you started that prop, Martin? How's that coming along? Go a little lighter. I find that sometimes when you're doing forehead wrinkles, it's just best to go nice and light and kind of like sketch it. Sketch it out. It looks a little bit more natural. And let's take the clay tubes, the BCT. Hey, what's up, Talden? How you doing? Hello, hello.
There we go. All right, damn standard. Figure we'll just mess with this face a little bit, really start getting some of these details in. I'm actually having a hard time seeing the details. So let's see here. Let's actually let's load in something a little bit darker. There we go. Like sometimes it's really hard to see with skin shades, so. It's actually already pretty far. Just a little, just some little things still need to be modeled. I already started working on it yesterday. Hell yeah, you did. Awesome. Hey, what is going on? Titanic, how you doing? Doing well, just uh, doing a bit of work from home. Nice. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow, that brush is so light. That's really great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah, it just it makes it pop just a bit. How are you guys doing? I'm actually need to I'm gonna need to soon either go up in subdivision or kind of since we used layers yesterday I feel like I'm actually getting a lot of stretching here might be best to Z Z remesh at this point because I don't want to fight the geometry but I also don't want to take it much higher than it doesn't need to be higher than a few million you know but I could see I'm actually getting a lot of uh, deforming in areas I don't want it to be. So let's see if we can actually fix that. Because that's looking pretty solid, but. Let's actually, so this set, let's turn everything off. So that way we could just work with the one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And so I'm actually gonna use a trick that I used a little while ago, which is I'm actually gonna use a, a guiding <clears throat> uh, a paint trick, a guiding paint trick. So let's grab the P A. There we go. Let's go and fill color. Let's actually start getting some. Let's get some lines in here. Go. What's everybody else working on today? Let's go. Luckily, I didn't sculpt this whole face because it's going to be hidden, so I can actually get away with just not really caring what's going on down here. The real focus is going to be right up here as long as we make sure that we get some pretty decent lines should be okay go everything else we'll actually cut this down here like such Now, for those of who are new, I don't usually stream on Thursdays. Um, it's just I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, so. I thought I would pop in here. I'm good doing Twitch paperwork to complete my affiliate-ness. Nice, nice. Are you excited about that? That's really cool. Alright. So now we got this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and actually go up to Z plugin. Where are you? Polygroup it and polygroup from paint. 
light a thing for a second. What are the lines for, guides? Yeah, they're actually going to be guides to help um, kind of redraw everything. Except for it got really funky here. And I forgot you have to do this by actually deleting lower. So yeah, so right now it's all one solid polygroup, but you could see how the lines are really wonky. And usually with a face, you want pretty clean topology, even if you're going to be, <clears throat> pardon me, even if you're going to be uh, 3D printing. So I'm going to delete lower and then I'm going to polygroup it, which will give me really solid lines. Polygroup from paint. It'll actually give me uh, new groups, and then I can Z-remesh with those groups and get better lines, and then I can project details back, and it should be pretty good. You usually don't need to take faces up too, too high, but 3 million should be fine, but it was kind of crappy topology, so that falls on me. <laughs> So you can see here now I have all these different polygroups. And then what I can do is just come up to Geometry, Z Remesher, keep groups, and then go ahead and uh, Z Remesh. Although two is probably low. We may have to take that up a bit. Ooh. Share these delicious sculpting secrets. Yep. <laughs> Three million should be fine. Art life in 2021. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. This might take a minute, though. And it might also hit the stream a bit. In the meantime, let's check out Stream Raiders. Let me see real quick. Yeah. Gotta buy some scrolls. Got all this money. Okay, that actually I think let's come back. Ooh, that was that was ugly. Check this out. That's ugly. Okay. Let's get in here and actually take a look at this. Okay, see, so uh, my lines were funky. It didn't actually work a hundred percent. Which is okay, so we come in and make these a little bit bolder. When doing this trick, you gotta make sure that your lines are are nice and clean. And that it doesn't have any holes or weird little gaps. And I got lazy, so let's check that right there. There we go. That should be better. Let's go back. Polygroup it. Sometimes you have to do it. Oh, so it's letting you work on each of these parts without messing with each of the other. Yeah, so to speak, yeah. So you must have a pretty insane, uh, intense rig. I just picked up Zero's core to work on 3D bits for my laser cut terrain pieces. And I'm worried... Uh, now my little lappy won't cut it, cut the mustard. Oh, um, no, laptop should be okay. Um, you're limited on how many polygroups you can actually get anyway. Or not polygroups, um, how many, uh, vertices you can get within, uh, the core. But I ran it on a pretty crappy Intel i5 laptop, and it worked out really well. I'm not sure what specs you have. Um, but yeah, I run full ZBrush, so I do have... Uh, a pretty big machine. I actually upgraded to the AMD Ryzen 7 chip. So, yeah. I had a Ryzen 5. It worked pretty well, but it was definitely killing the, the machine. Um, okay, that's, that's still not cutting the way I want it to. It must be right here. Yeah, for full ZBrush for high detail like what I do... You definitely need a, a beefier machine. I would love to get a Threadripper one day. That would be awesome. For ZBrush Core, you should be fine. I'm going to have to play with Core a little bit more. I haven't done that in a while. I have my license. Why is this not cutting? 
Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to manually cut it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the mass lasso, because now we can have lazy mouse. And I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of cut it myself. Like that. Loop. <laughs> when in doubt, do it yourself. There we go. And now you see all these lines in here, the way they're all kind of uh, jaggy. We're going to go to Deformation and Polish by Groups. And that's going to kind of smooth those lines out a bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. You got a Ryzen 5? Yeah, you should be fine then. I had a Ryzen 5 for a little while. So you should be fine. In fact, I still have my Ryzen 5 chip that I took out for the 7 just like a couple months ago. Okay, we're going to go smooth, and I'm going to hit smooth groups. I'm going to come in here and actually make sure that we just kind of smooth out some of these groups just a bit. The cleaner, the better. Smooth groups does exactly that. We just smooth out the groups. Yeah, I love the AMD series chips. They're really good. There we go. Sometimes you'll get this, where you get this little group here. Just kind of make that its own. Get to come in and kind of fix just a bit. Okay. Now we have this. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Zero post. We'll call this 10 now. Okay, perfect. All right, now we'll go to geometry. We'll actually go to uh, Z remesher, keep groups, and let's turn this on like five. And that should give us pretty decent geometry, and it should give us some pretty decent edge loops. And then we can go ahead and project the other detail back from our other model. But yeah, this is a fun little uh, little hack. If you're trying to just get decent edge flow, you can just guide them with poly paint. But it's thinking. Alright, so it's a little too low, but you get the idea of what this is. So we're going to come back. We'll go ahead and hit, uh, we'll hit 10. I have a shortcut for that. So let's do, let's do that. Zero mesh until we get something. While it's thinking, let's come back here real quick. Let's refresh. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Now you're saving. Mm, let's go back. Let's try it one more time. 
I want to get something a little bit better. I keep hearing zebra mesh instead of zebra mesh, and I was like, <laughs> this is like Rhino and Flamingo, different software things. No, just misheard a com command. Yeah. <laughs> It's like zebra mesh. <laughs> What's up, Kamara? It should be called zebra, zebra, <laughs> zebra, <laughs> zebra. That's how we're. That's what. That's what we're calling it. All right. Hey, I need to sleep now. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. We're just uh, zebra meshing, zebra meshing my uh my face zebra Shh. <laughs> exactly okay so now we have this and this is actually not too bad this is pretty good for what we're going to be doing again it's just going to be 3d printed i'm not going for anything super super crazy so what we're going to do is go ahead and subdivide this a few times we'll kick this to like yeah, we'll kick it back to the... Actually, let's kick it back to just under a mil. And we're going to go ahead and hit project and hit project all. And say yes. Let's kick in. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. Now I can just up it one more. At that full three million, and it's going to be delicious. So hit project one more time. This is where um, Zebra has to think. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Okay, we got a little bit of crunchiness there. So if that ever happens, no big deal. We can go ahead and add back in all that detail. So let's just go ahead and delete this guy. Now we got this. Go ahead and hit save. And now we can just go back in and actually bump up all that detail. So no big deal. But yeah, now I'm not getting that. I'm not getting a lot of that crunching here. If I can come back in and really get some good, uh, get some good details happening. Said three million. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. All right, let's turn everything back on. Oh, that's a stupid cube. <laughs> let's actually delete that cube. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, Sub Zero wins. Okay, now we're going to actually come back in here. Take the standard brush. I'm actually going to kind of puff his cheeks up a bit. So he should have that uh, kind of squish up against his mask. Yeah, 
Maybe I'll take the move brush too. I like to use a combination of it. Kamara, what you working on? Okay, cool. Now let's go back. Let's grab... Let's grab that brush. Here we go. You're rigging! Oh boy. Oh, what fun, I'm sure. I've rigged a couple times in Blender. I didn't have the best time. Although it wasn't, I mean, <laughs> let's face it, it wasn't anything to, to rave about. But it was definitely like an, ex it was definitely an experience, that's for sure. Have you guys seen Party Down? I know, uh, I know Carde has, obviously. Um, rigging. So you did the retop of? Oh, I think she might be working, working. I'm working on something new. You want to see? I need to sleep now. I always want to see. Come on, buddy. I always want to see it. Tell me you posted it already. I think I did. Yep, there it is. Ooh. Awesome reference, by the way. I love it when people share the reference because then I can see what you're going for. Ooh. Oh, I like this. This is cool. That's really cool. Are you going for this style render? Like, are you going to try to match? the concept to the render itself, making it look paint. Cause if so, then I already like what you're doing because there's no need to work the face. There would be no need to work any of that. Just really focus on getting a good shape uh, because it's really about the mouth. So cool. I cannot wait to see how you finish that. Oh no, Beatles being done live. This is NDA work. <laughs> Gotta love the NDA work. I'll show you the blockout I did of a motorcycle. Yeah, you were going for that? Nice. Um, what, I, what I'm currently working on is not NDA, um, but it is definitely, um, you know, it's that memorial piece. But here, let me... I'll show you. I did a, a tiny little blockout yesterday. It's still very much a work in progress. Um, but I started the... Uh, I started the block out on the motorcycle and that's I'd say I this took me about took me about 40 minutes to an hour to kind of just block out the shape still a lot more to go but got the main shapes in here this is supposed to be a Harley style motorcycle so we got a v-twin uh, got the saddlebags on the side built out the frame which is cool I use Z modeler for this whole frame uh, learned some tricks too along the way by just trial and error, so I'll definitely want to share some of that stuff. So you're doing a motorcycle in ZBrush? Yep, hundred percent. Yep. So this is a. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this as detailed as possible, but I need to finish blocking it out later today, and then, um, and then move on to blocking out the uh, the figure, um, and then we'll go from there. So. It's going to be realism. It's 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 a memorial piece, so it's going to be very much uh, realism. Yeah. But I'm also keeping in mind that it has to be 3D printed, so... That's where the challenge always comes in. How much realism and how much cheating do I do? Um, for example, we go to the wheels. You know, so if you take a look at the wheels, you know, on a Harley, you have your rotors, and then you have a lot of... Um, I forget what they're called. They're, 
sprockets yeah thank you um that hold it together and that's not printable at all given the size that it'll be printed at which will be it's going to be small you know it's going to be like maybe six inches tall uh so those aren't printable that way that'd be too skinny and if i make them too thick it'll look too funky so i have to create a clever way to set some sort of inset um, or get some sort of like a uh, piece in the middle that will hold it together. So I'm going to have to pull out some tricks. But yeah, for the most part, it'll be realism. So. Okay, I'm actually going to hide that. Tweak this mask a little bit. Make this look as good as possible on all sides. I do like this texture that we put on here. Wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and then then I saw it this morning, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I think overall my go-to style these days is pushed between that kind of comic style, uh, realism style. That's always been like my goal. So. Okay, we're going to actually hit the move infinite brush. So B, M, D. No. Did it change it again? It freaking did. It's now N. When they add brushes, they change shortcuts. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Okay, let's go back here to his neck and let's actually start getting some of these uh, these wrinkle lines in here. So we're just going to do ourselves a favor and we're actually going to go ahead and come on over to our XMD setup and that's lips, knuckles. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and now, you know what? Forget that. Let's go to standard brush. Let's actually go to spray. Let's go to our alphas, pick alpha 60. Yeah, perfect. So the neck always is going to deform. And so when you have that, you're going to have deformation lines. So you're going to get something like this. Probably even try to like drag a couple of these. Kind of smooth that down a little bit. Yeah, let's do the drag. I'm just holding alt too. Now we'll come back to not color spray. We'll come back to spray. Kind of put a few more in there. And then let's go ahead and hit smooth. And we'll do smooth peaks. Which help us give us a little bit of skin texture right underneath there. go go back to drag wreck a couple more right in there at least move that side down come back to color spray get right underneath that chin and then kind of do a relax smooth hey what's going on How do you say your name? Sorry, I don't want to yog. I can't. I'm, I'm going to butcher it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome in. 
Hopefully you're doing well. There we go. There we go. So that little subtlety right there. And then if we get a little bit too much crunchy, we'll just go ahead and come back to regular smooth and just kind of smooth that down and then come back over it. And just work it a little bit. Very cool. And then same thing here. <clears throat> go back to the arms. And we need to add these lines in the arms too. Wow, what's up with my throat? There we go. Okay, go back to drag rick. And we're gonna add a few of these in here. So again, anytime your your character has a bending point, you're gonna have these types of uh uh skin folds. We can even exaggerate some of them too. I like to sometimes take the standard brush just naturally and then come in and actually just start kind of working in between those lines. That helps too. If you're really going for realism, they'll just kind of bunch up there. Kind of cut that in. And they don't have to be much, just subtle enough subtle enough add a few more there we go and then color spray it's like that perfect <clears throat> the problem with my name uh, I want to learn 3D for figures and characters. Why do you use ZBrush instead of Blender? What is the difference? Okay, th that's a great question. And also, thank you for <laughs> for your <laughs> for understanding. Um, I use ZBrush because it's the industry standard. It is, uh, in my opinion, the best program for the job because it's pure sculpting. Um, now, if you're wanting to learn, so 3D figures and characters, Blender's great and. I always tell people that is really dependent on your budget and what you can and can't afford. That's going to greatly depend on what's available to you. Blender is perfect for learning. Um, the sculpting program within Blender is fantastic, but in my opinion, ZBrush is the next level. And because it's that standard that's been set by the industry and they always develop, uh, they're always developing ways to make our lives easier. Um, and it's also company backed. It's also a one-time purchase typically. Um, so you get free upgrades. So at, at the end of the day, ZBrush just, in my opinion, does it better, but I've played in Blender. I think Blender is great. Um, I wish Blender was as good as it is when I started sculpting because I would have stayed in it longer. But, uh, um, the main difference is that ZBrush kind of leads the way when it comes to digital sculpting. It is dedicated for that specifically uh, where blender is more of a one-stop shop but again it is always dependent on your on your budget and also to uh, your desire to learn i tell people try to save as much money as possible and learn the skills first so if blender is uh the skill set that you can you can um you can learn the skill set of sculpting in blender and then you can decide for yourself how you want to move um but at the end of the day it's six to one, half a dozen to the other. It's really dependent on, on you. I say try it though, because you can always get a 30 day free trial in ZBrush, um, but it just works better for my workflow. It's a lot smoother. It overall is just a better experience when it comes to sculpting. Blender is the knife that will get you the gun. ZBrush is the gun. Yep, at the end, it's a tool. Absolutely, yep. All these programs are tools, and at the end of the day, it really is dependent on you. Um, ZBrush is not the one-stop shop. Uh, there are plenty of ZBrush cowboys, as we call them out there, that are solely ZBrush. Um, while I do 90% of my workflow in ZBrush, I do other programs as well. Um, but yeah, it is a tool, and use it accordingly. If you're going for character sculpting, at the end of the day, you're going to probably end up in ZBrush, but that doesn't mean that you can't use Blender or you can't try it. And anything I talk about when it comes to sculpting, 
here in ZBrush, it actually does um, it actually does uh, translate well over to Blender. So, but there are a lot of features that ZBrush um, has that I think kind of top Blender, but Blender is developing constantly, and that's amazing. Ninety percent? You mean ninety nine percent? What I stream is ninety nine percent. Yes, <laughs> this is true. Also, too, I mean, if you want to go for like now technical differences, Blender cannot handle heavy loads, heavy. Um, they cannot handle heavy uh, performance, whereas um, ZBrush has like this kind of black magic guru going on where it actually can handle loads up to, I think, a billion uh, points actively before it crashes. Of course, that also depends on your rig, but um, I've always had to crunch my files down to bring it into Blender or to bring it into another software because of how robust zbrush can be so oh yeah no problem anytime i definitely encourage everybody to uh to pick what's best for them absolutely zbrush just works for me the best it's what i understand um and yeah it gets the job done again i i do primarily high risk sculpting for uh, toys, statues, 3D printing. So I don't need to, I don't, personally, I don't need to leave ZBrush too often. But for now, like texturing and stuff, you know, that's where if you're doing for game, game, um, or, uh, real time, you would want to use something like Substance Painter, um, or even Marmoset. I use some other things, Martin, by the way. <laughs> I can. I just don't want to. Okay, we're going to take the damn standard right here. Let's actually start carving in here a little bit. Look at all that skin flap. Yeah. All right, let's take the sander brush. Let's go back to spray. Pardon me. Wow. I'm all over the place today. Let's go to smooth, and we're going to do smooth peaks. Okay. <laughs> 98% sorry all right I thank you yeah we, we compromise that's a good level that's where we're at <laughs> I, I agree with you Martin <laughs> uh, that's more right when it works it works right brother huh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, let's get some more wrinkles in here. <laughs> but uh to add a little bit more on the uh you wanting to learn 3d character design and creation um for figures uh my biggest advice to you is study anatomy as much as you can 
that's going to take you far. Program knowledge is one thing, but uh, really just make sure you push uh, learning the anatomy as well. So pick up, um, you'd want to pick up some books like uh, Anatomy for Sculptors. Um, even pick up workout books like... I have this uh, strength training book right here. This is a great book. This is a great book, not only for exercise, but um, on the inside... They actually show you, uh, it's hard to see, but they show you the uh, pose and then the muscles too. So this is really good information. So if you're trying, um, if you're trying to kind of see how the muscle forms of a character, uh, getting books like that, that was like 14 bucks. That's a great book uh, in order to kind of just understand and look up other resources like uh, Figurosity and stuff just really just study how the body is built and it doesn't matter if you're doing creatures or if you end up doing um uh realism at the end of the day uh it has to be grounded in reality uh, at least to the human eye so making it as realistic as possible is only going to get you uh making it as realistic as possible is going to get you further than uh than not so really study anatomy that's gonna that's gonna be your best friend feel like all of a sudden I can't talk today so hopefully what I'm saying makes sense <laughs> ever get that way where you just like you start talking and then you're like why did I open my mouth <laughs> hey thank you so much Aaron Blackmain 77 thank you At least once a day. So, how are you doing, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, right. At least once a day. So. All right. Should we give him armpit hair? It won't 3D print, but we could totally do it. <laughs> Sub-Zero shave. See Manscaped. These are all important questions. Let's grab our brush. Let's grab our skin brush. And I put a lot of that pore detail back. There we go. Okay. I think we need to start adding like some some chunky blood effects to the skull just to start bringing in that gore factor. The base is only temporary too, so we still have a lot to do there. Um, let me finish adding some more of these wrinkles real quick and then... Hey, what's up, Witch Cat? Blood. Oh, yeah. We definitely have to get that blood in there.
Who goes at Witch Cat? There we go. Just a little bit right there. go yeah that's good the detail right up there okay hey bro came in to say quick hi looking dope thank you thank you thank you also uh ground affected um Sorry, man, I keep dropping the ball and life and stuff like that but um I did finish the uh check this out dude I did finish this, so the files are ready whenever you are. But, uh, check this out, dude. Look at this. It's a little hard to see. And then, bloop, she pops right out. So hit me up later. I'll hit you up later. Um, but that came out pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. I think it came in like 20 pieces. <laughs> um, I printed and also uh, mixed media. I did resin and I did uh, uh, filament, but only because of size permitting. It stands nine inches tall, but um, what you might call it. Um, I didn't have a big enough resin printer, so I did mixed media, FDM for the base. So <laughs> I'll hit you up later. No oh, thanks, man. Some of those wrinkles. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Come down here to the bottom. I have some cloth brushes. Where are we? I'm pretty sure I did. What? Where are you? A battle is ready. Okay, cool. That's good, cause I'm gonna get some of the stitches in there. All right, let's do it. All right, um, I hit a wrong button apparently, so I'm gonna have to restore my custom. There we go. All right, we did it. All right, what we got here? We have Death Sacrament and J Crew. Yay! Mm, that's what we're talking about. All right, gonna go ahead and drop something down. 
Let's go back. Bloop, bloop. There we go. Okay. Let me come back to X and D. Let's type in stitch. Okay, let's hold on. Give me it's being weird today. Where are all my brushes? Blossom brushes. I don't like that. Interesting. The re-download those brushes. It must have been a weird update or something. By the way, those ring pull-ups are no joke. My upper body's screaming. Yeah. That's 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 right. Yeah, I actually um had to do some push-ups this morning to kind of wake up my body. There we go. Stitch. Insert stitch. Insert stitch. That's what we're going to do. Ooh, stitch. There we go. Up this resolution a little bit. This is where I think we're going to need to actually go to surface and actually apply this. Okay, we need to go up one more. Apply to mesh. It's thinking. There we go. That's a weird brush. Okay. Let's turn off RGB. We don't need that. There we go. Gonna need to use those resistant pants. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Burr? How you doing? Okay, let's wrap this down. Let's actually scan this up. Okay, there we go. Take that intensity down a lot. We don't need them super intense. We just need it enough. Okay, cool. Okay. Go. And then we're gonna take the inflate brush and actually kind of close this up a little bit. Kind of helps with seams look a little bit more realistic. Yesterday my heart was beating a little, but today it's better. Oh, that's that's really good. I'm I'm glad you're. Hopefully you're you're doing okay. It's always scary when uh. Sometimes um, I'll get like a little heart palpitation, I like like I'll get like one of those bubbles in my wrist. Oh, I hate those. It stops me right in my track. Okay, we need to kind of make sure that this gets pulled back a little bit so that it makes sense. 
for the pineapple pizza. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good, right? <laughs> oh, you sent it. Oh, no. Okay, I want to see. Here. Is it okay to show the picture on the stream? I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Holy hell. Whoa! That's insane! I think people got angry. I think... I, that's crazy. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, I think they are crazy. Yeah, absolutely. You can you can always you can always tell when it's malicious or whatnot. You know, those trailers have been in your area for a while, so Alright, so we're just slightly inflating the seam. Seams get pulled in. And so you want to make sure that you get like a little bit of that that effect happening on the edges. It just sells it so much better. If you just draw a line down the pants, I mean, it's that helps, but it becomes more evident and more helpful when uh, you get something a little bit more, just something a little bit extra. Turn that intensity down. There we go. Thank you so much, Ohad. How you doing? Wanna switch jobs? I can't sculpt for shit, but I give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, why not? I can try to uh, sit there and listen to a bunch of people give opinions about what they don't know about and argue amongst themselves over books. I don't know if I'll be any help, but, you know, I'll try. There we go. Now come through. Like I said, we'll just inflate that just a little bit. a little extra so it just kind of bunches that up just a bit really sells that effect from afar 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 <laughs> I was actually thinking of the movie Just Friends afar afar but Jafar works too You're just a helpless female. You might get further with facilities management because of your gender. Maybe, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very cool. I'll go ahead and we'll take... There we go. Also, too, it also helps if you add a little bit of variance of the different wrinkles, some bigger. What's cool is actually we'll take this lasso. Get in here. Go. <laughs> Exactly. And that's how you bring death into the conversation. <laughs> you go.
Okay, cool. That's also strange. I can't find the live on Tuesday where you show Gravity Falls fan art. Does it bother you if, if you show it to me again? No, it doesn't bother me at all. So take a picture because it's... Yeah, no problem at all. I can even, I, you know, I can even do you one better. Hold on one second. Let's come here. Let's go to my mini. Do you one better. Oh, May. Ooh, interesting. Did I show the color versions? Ooh, I didn't show the color versions there. Never mind. Wow, interesting. I didn't do that. But here's a link here. If you ever want to download them yourself. But no, I, I have no problem showing them. I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. Um, it's one of my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite stylized sculpts. Yeah, I love this guy. I love these characters so much. I think I'm going to sculpt Waddles at some point too. And then here's the backside. Yeah. These these are just amazing. Yeah, no, it's so I've had issues with Twitch before. Um even on YouTube. I had it yesterday where it said I was streaming for like 15 hours straight, um, even though I ended the stream, so it's kind of weird. Hey, what's up, Inspire? Twitch is weird. Twitch is going through a lot right now. Um, <laughs> doesn't that sound like a breakup? <laughs> Twitch, is, Twitch and I are... <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, oh, here we were going to look up uh, pants. Uh, wrinkles. <laughs> Alright, so one of the biggest things to really pay attention to, of course, is how pants sit. Not all pants are created equal, but you really want to pay attention to... This gives you the excuse to look at butts. Um, you really want to pay attention to how the wrinkles form on the pants. It's really imperative. Um, some, of course, are, are more than others, but sla everything kind of has... Uh, a, where there's a seam, there's a pull line. So it's very important to kind of remember all that. And so I'm just making sure that... Yeah kind of bunches up at the at the rear your search history is wild my man yeah my search history yeah, it's pretty it's pretty outlandish there was uh, some story of one kid with like a hundred thousand followers losing all of his followers overnight due to a twitch glitch he got them all back and then some but twitch didn't seem to care nope i guarantee you're on a watch list somewhere oh yeah I guarantee it too. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to actually load in... Um, come on. There we go. I'm actually going to load in a brush. Let's go to my documents. SK brushes. actually have some really cool cloth stuff. There we go. Yeah, that's better. You can see here, we're just going to kind of now exacerbate where some of these are. And also, too, we'll go through on some of the little ones as well. I'm going to turn down the intensity. There we go. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I wasn't on a watch list somewhere right now. I, uh, yeah, my search history is pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, let's actually turn up Lazy Mouse a little bit. And also, too, wrinkles 
they um, like kind of run into each other, and that's important to remember too. And when in doubt, just kind of zigzag. Just kind of like make X's or Z's. If you're not sure what to do, but you think there's a fold there, make a Z, see if that makes sense. It can't hurt at the end of the day. I wish I knew where my gloves are. Yeah, which pair exactly? I noticed it was stuck. You did do nothing. Uh, wait, you did do nothing to have your channel stuck like that? No, I didn't do anything. I hit stop. I think they weren't prepared for so many people to be on here all of a sudden. Exactly, yeah. Every time I see stream elements pop up, I always imagine a comment for us after a like. <laughs> and I just think it's some sassy kid questioning what you're doing. Fighting gloves. <laughs> the pink ones. <laughs> yeah, where are those pink ones? There we go. Also, too, just breaking the silhouette a little bit. So that it's not just straight. It's important to do that, so... Kind of also bunch up where the knee would be. There we go. Let's go a little bit bigger too. Doesn't hurt. Size variance. There we go. Look at all those wrinkles. Happy wrinkles. The Noman channel was also stuck on ZBrush last week. I think it's YouTube. Uh, I wonder. Well, they also use Restream. And I'm also wondering if some of this has contributed to Restream. Because I've had issues with Restream not um, doing things as well. Whoops. Wrong switch. <laughs> you guys just watched me drop my seat. <laughs> but yeah. I camo MMA gloves and I don't own pink gloves. Yeah, I would totally own pink gloves. Actually, when I used to uh, compete in martial art tournaments, I wanted a pair of uh, pink gloves, but my grandmaster said, no, you have to represent the school. <laughs> and I was really bummed. I think he just wanted us to buy his gloves. <laughs> The Majin Buu pink ones? I would be so down. <laughs> Absolutely, yep. There we go. Yeah. interesting taking a look at this and i'm realizing that uh i think i need to tuck that in a little bit Not sure what happened there.
There we go, yeah. Get up to Hello Kitty. <laughs> Time to start, brother. Time to start. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and save this out. And then we get some, some bloody, bloody, bloody. Okay. Now we're gonna do a cool trick for blood, guys, and I'm gonna I'm gonna like it. First things first, we need to put some like kind of funky guts and stuff on them. So what we're gonna do for this, we need to get like kind of like red stuff. So we're gonna use a new brush. So we're actually going to use the um, a curved snake brush or the snake hook brush. So B S, and then. Snake Hook 5. We're going to go ahead and duplicate the skull. Bless you. And then we're going to actually go ahead and delete lower. We're going to turn on our Sculptress. Not this one. Where's the noise brush? Come on. Oh, wait. I forgot. Wrong one. Still learning this stuff. Mesh splat. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'll get kind of a deeper red. Yeah. Is where we're going. Hey! What is going on? Wiz 18? Is the P silent? P with wins? P wins? Hello, hello? Okay, for this, I'm actually going to drop the intensity. Hello, 3D Monster Girl! Welcome in! Thank you for the raid, by the way. I super appreciate it. Okay, we're actually going to. Yeah, let's put the color on it. Boom. We're going to do a little blood splats here and there. Hey, what is happening? Welcome in, welcome in. What were you doing? Look at this. Oh, th this is... This is just awesome. Gosh. I mean, we could just add a bunch of this. <laughs> this is so okay. I'm like really, really enjoying this brush way more than maybe I should. Sculpting some spicy monster girl. Ooh, nice. Can I see? Do you mind sharing? I always love that stuff. Okay, get a little bit here. Maybe kind of get it trailing a bit. We're also gonna add some other cool stuff here, but. New brush, yeah, this is uh, the uh, splats or mesh splat brush uh, in ZBrush. The brand new um, 20, uh, 2021.6 version of ZBrush. So I'm able to get some pretty cool details here. Very quickly, very effectively. And even build up some kind of chunkiness. Like such. So it really kind of gets us a base of, of that, which is awesome. And then we can actually manipulate this a little bit more, so... I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit uh well it's kind of already auto grouped a little bit. Let's sew this out. 
me take a screenshot nice her work is quite tasteful as well awesome i always that is awesome all right auto groups i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all of the spinal columns actually grab the wreck very cool so now we have this very cool like that let's go ahead and then delete hidden so now we just have the blood spatter we'll just call this uh blood now I wonder, I'm going to go ahead and try this. What if we were to... Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> All right. I was wondering if this, if it was going to recognize anything in the viewport. And it does. And that's great. So next time I don't have to duplicate the skull. I could just bring in a little something and then it'd be good to go. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab the original snake hook brush because... If you start dragging with a snake hook brush, you know, you're going to go ahead and actually, you know, manipulate. But if you do this and then you hold, um, not alt, I believe it's, I believe it's control. Yeah. If you hold control, it kind of drags around, which is cool. But we also need to kind of give it a little bit more geo. It's a little bit light. Unfortunately, I have to go earlier today. My sister needs a computer to do her homework. Hey, that is okay. I'm going to make sure the battle gets done. But uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but catch me in the Discord. And don't forget that I'm streaming uh, Pixelogic channel uh, Sunday at 5 p.m. So please stop in there. Stop, say hi. I'd love to see you. I looked over my drug brain because I'm on lag mode because my migraine meds. All I could do is think, whoa, disease much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you hold alt, it'll kind of follow the normals of the, uh, um, I'll follow the normals of the underlining sub tool that it's a part of, which is really cool. So you can get some really cool little works here. And then this project takes some time. Absolutely. Let me see. Current work in progress. Remember, everyone loves pineapple. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I love this. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Hey, what is that, Moon? I love to hear about I would love to hear about your uh artistic background. Yeah, absolutely. This is very cool. I love the creativity. I love it. I this is I can't wait to see you finish this. This is gonna be badass. I love it. Good stuff. Yeah. Is that a shield on the left? Yeah, I think that is a shield on the left. I would assume this is a shield, yeah. Liken, likening to the monster vibe going on in her chest with this tongue here. This is really, really well done. Great job. So my artistic background. Um, it is all over the place. But like a good burger. Never mind, I'm not going there. It doesn't get all over the place, don't blind your face. I was going with a really stupid joke. <laughs> okay, just gonna stop it there. Anyway, um uh, my artistic background actually um I was always I was always into uh 2D art. I was always into art in general. Um Stream Raiders is ready, cool. Um but I started drawing a lot more actively when I was a young teenager, like 12 13 14 years old really got into anime when i was younger but i really loved um 
more drawing what I saw. I, did, I couldn't create my own characters as well. I didn't know how to concept sketch, but I learned uh, basic animation and stuff in high school. Um, but I really loved just black and white drawings and I didn't really know or think I could do anything. Now I'm 37 years old, so um, back when I was in high school, so 2001 is when I graduated, it was still a weird transition. Internet wasn't what it is today. And so long story short on that, everybody was still pushing that you needed a degree to get into art. It didn't matter how good you were. Hey, card aid, that sacrament. So I didn't really think I had a, a career in art. It just wasn't a thing. Um, so I actually put down the pencils and I didn't do anything for 12 years. I didn't do any type of art for 12 years. Um, I ended up picking up photography on the side uh, because my dad was a photographer. That was easy. Um, but I was basically just kind of dabbling in little things here and there until a buddy of mine who did wedding photography was like, hey, I really could use some help. Do you want to make some side cash? And I said, hell yeah, that, that sounds awesome. So um, he taught me Photoshop and then I picked up um really getting into photoshop hard probably for about two to three years and then became a retoucher for a little bit um and then after photo retouching i started kind of looking back at art because i started getting into the more artistic side of of photo retouching i really liked the kit bashes and the concept arts um but I just wasn't sure, again, of what to do. And then I found a little program called Sculptress. And it was completely free. And a buddy of mine, who I was working, um, same company at, he was like, if you are digging sculpting, you should check out ZBrush. Now, he tried to get me into ZBrush a, a few times prior, but I was like, no. That's not going to happen. I don't like it. It's weird. <laughs> There's a lot of funkiness happening there. Um, so I wasn't quite sure with it. But then uh, eventually I just started prevailing. And I really liked the sculpting aspect. I thought it was cool. So then I took a few classes through my work. Um, and my first teacher was David Igo. And he really helped me kind of just understand... Um, the overall basics of it, and he really helped kind of push me uh, into looking at other as aspects, not just with game and design, but with 3D printing, which I was already getting into at the time anyway. So, um, long story longer, I played around a little bit, started really liking it, and then uh, decided to get pretty serious about it uh, so about four years ago, got pretty serious about sculpting. And then I started looking at schools. But again, I wasn't sure if I was going to go into games, if I was going to try. I didn't know what to do with it. So I then eventually found the 3D Character Workshop. And I vetted them for about two years. And then I finally pulled the trigger. And then the pandemic happened. So I spent the entire first year of the pandemic... <laughs> Basically studying, grinding, and really diving into it as best I could. Um, and now I'm here making badass art and people seem to like it. So yeah. <laughs> you have evidence? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna take that two, take that two hours. It could. I could talk all day. Um, you guys know that though. But yeah, that's that's the overall gist of it. Um, but I've always I always had artistic interest, and I always had some desire to want to create. Um, so every field I've ever done had some sort of creative element to it. Um. And what's cool is now I'm able to look back on some of that stuff. And that's where all my Photoshop experience comes from. 3D printing, I have a machining background because while I was doing that, I was a machinist for about uh, 
yeah, about 15 years did machining. So um, I was able to take a lot of that and kind of make it what it is today. So I make amazing art. Thank you so much. Yeah. Very sorry, man. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. Hydrate. I will do that. There goes an ice cube. <laughs> All right, let's take kind of a dark blue and let's actually get a little bit of a uh, painting going on there. Yeah, I love it. And I feel just so, I feel so blessed and honored to be able to even pursue this as a career. So because there are so many talented people out there and I just like being part of a community that's loves to be passionate and create so it's inspiring every day all right let's get some base shadows into these cracks and such i just went ahead and masked by cavity which can be done under masking and then i just hid that mask so we can just paint vigorously wherever the hell we want to <sighs> Uh, did you so you, did you study anatomy just this past year? Um, yes, actually, I really dove into. Well, here's the beauty part. Um, so anatomy was actually a little easy for me because I studied anatomy um, during my uh, uh, during um, my martial art experience. I actually studied anatomy because of pressure points, so I was already familiar. And then I was a 2D artist before, so I had some idea of how the body should look. Um, so that being said, it was a little bit easier for me to get back into it, but I really got serious about anatomy uh, this last year, yes. Because I realized that if I wanted to pursue this as a career and have any success at it, the top people in the world know the anatomy like the back of their hand, and that's what I felt like I really had to do. So yeah. You said dark blue, but I heard character. <laughs> Your brain. <laughs> Gotta love remaking an old model. Know that feeling? I do, yeah. I love remaking old models, actually. They're kind of fun. Sanchez, what is up? Slow BR, hello, hello. Anatomy is a never, is a never learning experience. <laughs> Have I ever done an ecroche? I have not, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I want to because the new, uh, actually, guys, I have this, I have this thought. I'm probably gonna take a more traditional sculpting approach um, with this mesh project because um, you're able to, to, to like actually make shapes and clump them on and then smooth them down, so. Hey, thanks for the host. Still waiting for the Alien Fish remake? I know, right? Yeah! So I started sculpting, but... Wow, I cannot make a proper head. <laughs> that is okay, man. That is okay. I can help you with that. Let, let me know, guys. Would you like me to do a anatomy stream where I come in... And we do, um, we do body parts once, you know, like, so we'll do like a torso, we'll do a head and you guys can follow along or review those back. If you guys would like something like that, let me know. Cause I can just take those streams and then re-upload them to YouTube as well. So you can have like a follow along. So if that's something you're interested in. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Then let's plan on doing that after this project before I start my next big, big personal project on the stream. So I'm actually working out some fun stuff and uh, Death has had a few ideas for a while. So <laughs> him and I are gonna be uh, coming up with a really fun personal project for me to do. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, here's gonna be really, really cool. Let's save this. But yeah, let's do that. I'm always a fan of follow along. Nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There's an app for that. There is an app for that. <laughs> oh my God. Do you remember that? Uh, you guys remember that? Um, uh, it wasn't Emma Stone who was a part of that. There's an app for that. 
Hey guys, want to do body parts? Iris sculpts. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So check this out. We're going to go with the Z plugin. Bloop. Drop this in there. Okay. So there is a new thing here. Let's actually go ahead to uh, preview AO, turn this off. And we're going to be using the new uh, ambient occlusion. So we're actually going to turn this on. Ambient occlusion, and we're going to, what does that do? Uh, add script to the plugin. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and actually compute an ambient occlusion mask on this stuff. So you could see here that there's actually a mask. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to hit like kind of a, kind of a brownish gray. And I'm going to come up here and hit fill objects. Let's actually go a little bit more intensity here. Switch this over. Okay, maybe more. There we go. So you're gonna kind of give us this little bit of a spotting effect here. Really just help with that, that dirty, dirtiness. Secrets are gonna Wanna slip some body parts? <laughs> uh you guys are awesome <laughs> all right let's go ahead and go a little bit darker now with some of this so you can see we can get kind of that like little bit of a, a brownish yellow staining effect happening here this brings just this brings that up a little bit more to a little bit of realism. Actually, we're going to take this color and come straight down for more deeper brown. Like this. We're going to do the same thing. Ooh, let me see, Slow B. Let me see. Yes. Finish Ecrochet Workshop. Nice. Hell yeah. This is great. Bloop. Guys, this playlist makes me feel like I'm watching a YouTube video. <laughs> but like, I love it that it's like kind of epic. Great job. Also, kudos to the traditional clay. I really love people who work with clay. It's something I've wanted to get more into, just space, time, and money. This is great. Great job. Ecrochet is so fun. That looks awesome. Yeah, I haven't attempted one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... There we go. So that ambient inclusion mask, it really just helps you hit those shadows really, really quickly. So you can see before it was just kind of blah. Now it just has a bit more depth. Gives you that kind of like ray traced feel. Okay. We still need to kind of fix his hands up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this finger is actually, we need to fix this finger. So let's take this guy right here. We need to kind of pivot this finger in and we need to pull this up. That. 
And let's take this right here. Let's grab that. If we hit Y on the keyboard, we get this transpose tool. And if we touch a point, sends our gizmo right there. Super helpful. I did a full body about three foot tall when I was in grad school. It took a whole semester. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with it when I was done though, so I never took it home. Oh damn. That's that's crazy. I right, wanna see the rework I'm doing? Yes, please. Please drop a link. Do you feel like the AO is more accurate with what actually comes out on the printer? Um First glance, yes but I haven't actually tested that at the moment. Um, but I will say that based on the detail that I have now, if we remove the color and kind of just look at the statue as a whole with basic material, it's pretty close. It, it represents depth pretty well. So looking at the base material and stuff, yeah, I would say, yeah, just kind of like, when we do um, the preview AO, if you drop the preview AO to about 15, that's pretty close, I think. Evalos, ready me! <laughs> um, I say that's pretty close for actual representation on what the depth uh, would actually be for printing. Um, but when in doubt, push it a little harder. It can't hurt. Hey, hey, hey! That means that uh, you're not streaming anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, I say it's pretty. I'd say it's pretty close. No, not soft plastic skin shade. Where is my skin shade? Why is skin shade the the only one I lose all the time? Oh, I know why. Okay, doesn't matter. Soft plastic's pretty good. Nope. Always add more depth. Yep. Nice. It's looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's coming along pretty well. We just started adding some blood. Now we're just kind of uh, messing with the fingers a little bit. Actually going to go ahead and use the transpose. And we're going to hold control. And actually come up here and mask off a certain area. By holding, can, uh, especially this works with fingers a lot. Of course, it helps to have a good spot. Yeah, that's fine. Then we can mask off the rest of it. There we go. Touch right there, hit Y. Bring that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah are you going to paint that once wait are you going to paint that once printed um maybe i don't know at some point <laughs> uh I'm, I'm really bad at painting things so to be honest um i always want to but um i'm just always i also just move on to the next thing so yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of bad with that oh cool nice Old, blender died on face. New, nice. I can see too. You're going for a more cut look, which is nice. That's cool. Yeah, this is really cool. I like the old and new ray. It's it's really good. Great job. Didn't get a chance to see a the Vegeta statue. Anyone have a screening? Um. Let me see. I think I got something for you. I think I posted pictures. Let me actually just come here to my Instagram real quick. Did I send printed dice? 
Okay, here, hold on. Let me go to my art station. I did post prints of it. So you can see the, uh, you can see it there. Here it here it is printed. I saw abs. Yep. Did the muscles and zbrush and thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, here's the here's the printed version. It came in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight or nine pieces. And it's a slight anti-gravity base. It was one of my first attempts. Oh, yeah. This is one of those uh, Vegetas where he's just kind of... He's looking off to the side a little bit. Because you always see him, like, raging. Which is cool, but I wanted something a little different. You ready for the WandaVision finale? Yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Oh, that's a beautiful Vegeta. Thank you so much. Yeah, actually, that Vegeta got me some work, so... So... <laughs> really happy about it. That was one of those projects where I started it, and then... Um, and then somebody reached out and was like, I didn't know you could sculpt anime. I have a job for you. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> yes, please. Actually, I'm going to be doing a lot more anime. Um, so anybody who's interested in uh, anime sculpts, stay tuned, because that's going to happen. Go. There we go. Nice. 100% interested. Hell yeah. Also, this uh, this mask lasso with lazy mouse, fucking awesome. <laughs> Go. That's the other thing. I didn't realize that that was so pushed back. Let's grab this. Bring this up a little bit. Shove that down. It's the hand and the skull are going to be one piece, so... Keep all that intersecting the way we need it to. Just kind of push that down. I think next we'll break it with some of my art. <laughs> it's over 9,000! Yeah, well, yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll stay tuned. And then the next exciting episode of... <laughs> oh, I say that all the time. Actually, you know what's funny, guys? Uh, I was talking to my daughter yesterday. And she was explaining to me um, her feelings about Dragon Ball Z. And... I told her that I want her to watch it at some point, but she's like, but dad, the problem with Dragon Ball is that, you know, it's, it's long, like it's, it's long winded. And I was like, no, I, I totally understand your point. I was like, however, you haven't really seen it. It's like, so you can't really talk about it because you haven't seen it. But I was like, here's what we're going to do. Like, watch it with me because I can actually show you like, a good amount of these episodes with like the filler cut out. I was like, because they do have that. But it was interesting because I completely agreed with her point. You know, she's like, I don't want to sit down and what should take two episodes, you know, takes six. But then I told her, I was like, you know, that the reality is that um, I was like, here are the reasons why it took so long, you know. And when I explained it to her, she's like, no, OK, that makes sense. Yeah. Had to be on every day. Okay. But it's just so funny because and she's like, it's just too long. I don't want to start it. It's like, come on. You have to. It was pretty funny. 
I tried that like 10 minutes ago and it and didn't hit. Oh, you typed that like 10 minutes ago and it hit send. That's funny. <laughs> it's like, I totally get it, sweetie, but uh, watch it with me anyway. I was like, pretend you're just spending time with your pops. Okay. What I'm looking for here is we got to get a nice knuckle bend. So what we need to do is actually kind of push this down and angle it just a little bit. And then we can actually just kind of angle that. Tried watching Naruto because my wife wanted me to, but it's such a long show I can't keep watching them. It would take like a year. <laughs> I agree that it's been too long, but I've watched up to the Cell Saga at least, and it's a good show, just not my favorite. Yeah, you, you know, and that's the thing. I totally agree with people who are like, oh, it's long. But, you know, it's funny too. All these shows are like, you know, it was a different time when they aired. And that's what I was explaining to her. I was like, you know, they weren't seasons back in the day. They were sagas. And the show just kept going. So, and when the show was in high demand, they just kept making episodes. But when you could tell when Dragon Ball was running out of story. Because even they themselves started kind of lagging a little bit. And becoming really filler in some points. Um, so you, you could tell when it was going a little south, even for them. But for the most part, it's like, nope. They had a story arc and they went with it, you know. Let's do a relax smooth real quick. Just get some of that. Get a bit more juicy. Also, this pinky is a little long, so I'm actually gonna soften that. I'm going to just bring that back a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to create the knuckle itself here on this one. So we need to kind of push this down a bit more. One Piece is hell long. Yeah, I <laughs> I watched the first episode of One Piece. I'd never seen it before. Um, I'm enjoying it, but I saw how many episodes were on Funimation, and I was like, I'm, I'm in for it. <laughs> you keep adding more chapters in the manga, though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, because suddenly Goku is charging a Kamehameha for five episodes. <laughs> Not five episodes. Four. <laughs> My brother was really into Dragon Ball Z, and it was I was always more into Gundam Wing. Yeah, Gundam was nice. I liked it. Back in early Toonami days. Although, okay, to be fair, Toonami really stretched it. They took a show that was filled, and they filled it further. Like, because there was a lot of editing they, they had to do, for especially for Dragon Ball, because of how adult it is. Um, if you watch the If you watch the original Japanese release... It's it's pretty graphic some in some fight scenes. Um, so Toonami not only censored it, and then they filled it further, which made it worse. Hey, thank you so much, a sniper. I appreciate it. Yeah, they also did that thing where they would catch up with the series as far as it had been translated, and then they just jump back in time. Yep. Oh, God, did they ever do that? 
Oh, did they do that? <laughs> the trauma is real. God, I mean... Ugh, yeah, they did that a lot. Nothing was as epic as knowing that Goku was going to face off with Captain Ginyu. And then the next episode you get to watch is uh, Goku still in space trying to get to Namek. And, or worse, you see little Gohan in the forest walking and you realize that they just sent you all the way back to the very first episode <laughs> and you're like well i'm not gonna rewatch the raditz saga and the vegeta saga <laughs> never mind i'm turning it off <laughs> figured maybe i can't remember how to use zbrush been a couple years due to cancer etc and i've had a project working on I have a project working on need to make some clothing well first off Wow, that's really, really crazy that uh, you had cancer, and hopefully you are cancer-free and such. And yes, please ask questions. I am more than happy to help any way I can. Just let me know. And if you want to know how I make clothing, I can give you an example. Because I just use the mask and extract method, which is really, really helpful. Uh, the first time I ever watched Gundam Wing in order, I was like, that's what they were up to. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? I just realized I was streaming instead of recording. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> no carbon all right let's go ahead and go to stream raiders there it is yeah i'm gonna be streaming for about another hour at most at most uh i do like uh i do i like the mask method but I am really crappy at making clothes. That's okay. Just takes a little bit of time. Um, the big, the biggest tip I can give you is after you do the extract, Z remesh it, and work with single-sided geometry. It's a lot easier to subdivide. It's also a lot easier to um, use dynamic thickness to give you an, a sense. Um, and that way you can actually have a really good uh, good example. In fact, here, I'll show it to you as soon as this battle ensues. And maybe it'll be helpful for you. Clothing just clothing just is all about learning the wrinkle anatomy, too, and how clothing is built. So you could study that a little bit, and that, that becomes very, very helpful. Knowing how things get cut uh, seam-wise, all that tends to be a little bit better. Yeah, was anybody watching? That's pretty awesome if they were. Oop, I'm gonna put my little candy cane guy up there. And let's go back. So here, I'll show you real quick. Let's actually save this. Pardon me. And I'm actually gonna just go ahead and let me load in my base mesh. One of my base meshes. There we go. Male base mesh. Bloop. Okay. So say I want to add a shirt on him, for example. Uh, this is my inspiration for a dark version of Red Riding Hood. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is awesome.
Not much for clothes, but the cape is gonna kill me. Oh no 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 no! The cape is gonna be. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out right now. Check this out. Cape is actually gonna be pretty simple. Are you at the current version of ZBrush? This is super beautiful. I think I'm gonna use this as wallpaper for my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna save this. This is really cool. Bloop. Okay. What's the current? The current is 2021.6.1, but if you're on 2021.5, everything I'm going to show you is going to be is going to be uh, is good. That would be sick. Yeah. Sniper, you have to join my Discord and uh, and keep me posted on your project. I want to see this thing come to life. Okay. For you could do a couple things for um, for the cape, and you don't have to actually use the extract method at all. For the cape, we can actually use cloth dynamics, and that's actually where um, that's actually why I was asking if you're current. So, if you wanted to use uh, create like a cape of sort, what I recommend doing, you'll be streaming next two days later on. Very cool. All right, so if you wanted to create like a cape using cloth dynamics with the current version of ZBrush, go ahead, go to insert and just insert a plain 3D. So now we have this guy right here. And what I recommend doing is actually just going to geometry, Z remesh, just hit half, turn adapt off and Z remesh this a couple times. Maybe right there, so back it up one, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually turn this around 180. Bring this up, bring this over. Go to display properties and turn double on. So now we can see where we're at at all times. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to take our character, put our we're putting our cape here. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of put our, our cape right about base base level for the neck, right? Now we're gonna purposely have our our uh, viewport sideways, kind of like he's just floating right there. And we're gonna come up to dynamics. Let's actually pin that to the side. So up here, there's a dynamics, just drag and drop that there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off floor, uh, floor collision, because we don't need that. We will be turning on self collision we're gonna put like a three doesn't have to be too high you think you got i th think i got it's 2019 okay well if you have 2019 uh definitely upgrade i think you'll enjoy it um let's turn in flip off and if you if you don't have this version i could show you another way that i would approach making a cape uh, this would just be the easiest way. I'll have to find a current version. Okay. So then we're going to hit um, recalculate. And now we have this right here. Let's actually turn our gravity down to like a two. Hit recalculate one more time. And this is why cloth dynamics is so awesome. I'm going to go ahead and hit, whoops. Sorry, set direction. When you're doing gravity, make sure you set the direction. Then calculate. All right, that was a little fast. So let's take this up to like 0.5. You can already see where I'm going with this. Recalculate. And have this kind of flail over until we get what we want, which that right there is pretty cool. So now we have this. And now it's already kind of pressed against a little bit. So what we'll do now is we'll take our mask and let's mask off this area. We're going to come up here on the dynamics one more time and hit mast on. And what this will do is whatever's masked will move, whatever's not masked won't. So we're going to invert that, recalculate, reset our direction now. And now we're going to hit run again. And now you can see that the cape itself is kind of falling a little bit. And it's just, we're letting it do its thing. It's kind of relaxing. 
it's now kind of leveling itself out. And we already have the starting of a cape. And then we can kind of come in here, shrink this down a little bit. We can mirror and weld it so that it's exactly identical. And then we can kind of press this along and manipulate this as we need it. I never messed with the cloth and ZBrush. I was so frustrated. I was just trying to make my clothes. Yeah. Uh, with the... Here, check this out. I explain cloth dynamic really well in a, one of my YouTube videos. Check this one out. It really makes a night and day difference. And if you're going to go for something like this, it will really help you get there pretty quickly. Come on over here to playlists and then ZBrush help. And I actually have, where are we? I have it here somewhere. Okay, fine. Let me move this out the way for you. Let's go to my channel. I'll have to follow you on YouTube. Yeah. Here, I'll go ahead and just drop my YouTube. You can browse through there for sure. Dang, much respect for learning this at 60. For sure, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to do the cape cover for Red Feathers instead, but... Dude, just keep learning. That's awesome. Much respect, my friend. Well, and like I said, too, had it posted, had it before you posted. <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, do you keep learning uh, and ask away, too? So if this way is a little too much, what I would recommend you do then, let's back it up a bit. If this way, if that way is like a little too much, then what we would then what I would recommend doing is still taking this plain 3D and actually coming through and let's do that one more time here's how i would do uh, a cape i would actually come here and let's go to z remesh geometry z remesh and i would z remesh this further like really far and then take your um your select rec and kind of just clip out everything but this these little two spots here's a test render of her face with a determined look oh hell yeah nice yeah i love the hair too very cool very cool okay so with the so we had this part here. We just kind of clipped out everything but these two little spots. And we're going to hit Delete Hidden. Which again, that's under uh, Modified Topology and Delete Hidden. So now you have this. And what we're going to do is actually stretch this up. Put this kind of in the center. And then we're actually going to mask the bottom side. Invert that mask. And actually just... Oops. Just kind of widen this spot out like that. So you get kind of this little feel here. And then we can always, too, hit Marin Well so that we keep a nice straight line. And then what we're going to do is use our Z modeler brush. And then come up here to insert, make sure that we insert these lines here. And then we can actually take these lines, highlight them, and then we can move them individually. So you get something like this. And then when you hit dynamic, let's actually create a couple more lines just to support the cape. Create a couple edge loops right there. So when we hit dynamic. Oh, come on. What are you doing? 
There we go. It was masked. Don't do that. There we go. When we hit dynamic, it'll actually hold shape. Or if we subdivide, it'll hold its shape a little bit and give us a little bit of flow to it. And then just kind of move it where you need to. And for her, luckily, her cape is open. But with fewer points, you can actually get some really nice effects. And you just kind of position as you need it. And that's how I would start making a cape. And then, of course, use the mask select for getting the hood itself. Uh, there are a lot of people learning at all ages. Shane Nelson has a lot of people with a wide variety of ages learning in his course, and I find it quite inspiring. Absolutely, Alex. Shane Nelson is the man. So the movement circle is that new in current. I don't remember in the old, older version. The, the circle, the movement circle. Wait, the movement circle. The brush I'm currently using. Oh yeah, it's going to take me a bit to remember basics. No worries. Let's actually lower that down. I'm going to delete. Gizmo. Yeah, this... Okay, thank you. Yeah. The gizmo is new as of... R8. For R8, I think. Yeah. The gizmo. Yeah, this gizmo was fairly new as a 4R8, I think. Um, and then it's just, it is just popular. You probably have the transpose tool, which will just be the same thing. Just kind of move. You're at 2019.1.1. Uh, yeah, so you're fine. So if you have the gizmo, hit Y, brings up the transpose, hit Y on the keyboard gizmo you can go back and forth that way so yeah you have the gizmo and you can actually stretch it gizmo is pretty cool some people love it some people don't get slow be art the way you spelled it the second time i hate the transpose <laughs> you and me both but i'll tell you why i do have love for it check this out with the transpose tool, what I can do is I can draw a straight line and then I can hold alt, grab the middle and you can actually bend. This is what, this is actually why I love the, the, the transpose. Plus you can measure with it as well. If you're into measuring in ZBrush, although that, that in itself can be a pain in the ass. Ooh, transpose is dope. Yeah. I started using the transpose more and more. Me too. Um, it's very functional. It's just, it gets, it takes a little bit of getting used to this. You know what I mean? Like, then you have to hit R if you want to rotate. Then you have to hit E if you want to scale. Um, so I get why there's not a whole lot of love for it. It's kind of a pain. When the gizmo came out, I was annoyed because I already learned the transpose. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use it for adjusting poses, but it was such a pain with the stretching. Yeah. Yeah, you can it can get wonky real fast. But hopefully that helps you at least get set up for a cape. Again, I would just use a plain uh a plain and uh a plain 3D and then just get a basic or even just like if you start with a Q cube, if you just start with a cube, take it all the way down. Drop it to just one uh, plane and then manipulate that plane. And then once you're done with it, you can turn around and let's say you liked what you got. You come around and then you just go do the Z modeler. Go to the face. Hit extrude. Polygroups all. And then you can just extrude it once you're, once you're happy with it. And then you got thickness. So you'll definitely... It'll definitely take you a little bit to get used to it, but um, that's probably the best way I would I would approach it. Transpose line would be a thousand times better if they goddamn labeled the circles. <laughs> yes, yes they would. And un uh, undo the position in case I accidentally click somewhere else on the model. Yeah. 
Absolutely. I agree with that sentence. So hopefully all that was helpful for you, Sniper. Okay, we need to make sure that our thumb is not doing that. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and apply and start getting a couple of this. Call me, check. Hey, how you doing? Welcome in, and thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Like I said, guys, I'm going to be streaming on the Pixelogic channel uh, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys have... Uh, more questions and I'm not on my own stream you can always pop over there too but ask me your questions there we go okay we're actually gonna go ahead and lasso this part right here Awesome stream, thanks. Hey, no problem, man. Christopher, what's up, dude? Yeah, yeah, so it gave me a little bit better vision of what I need to do. I have the bra and panty base made in Max. Just have to bring it into ZBrush and trim the top and make some straps. Perfect, yeah. Well, keep me posted. I would really love to see your progress. I thoroughly enjoy uh, watching people's work come to life, so... Keep me posted. There we go. He's like taking a selfie with uh with a skull. <laughs> right? There, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get some blood on him. So I'm gonna select the blood again. So we have this here. Let's actually grab the let's make sure that we grab the paintbrush. And we're gonna select here. We're gonna do color fill. I'm also just going to do one little thing really quickly that's going to make it just a night and day difference. I'm just going to go to Toy Plastic. And I'm going to hit uh, Material and Fill Object. And then we're going to come back to Soft Plastic. That way we get that kind of glossy look all the time. And it just looks a little bit better. And now we're going to go and grab our new brush, which is Mesh Splat. And what I'm going to do is just kind of end up making sure that we get some of this blood on there and this way they get a nice bit of texture there Because, I mean, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't not have anything on his hands. He just ripped somebody's head off, so. So, you know, there's that. Nice, Sub-Zero. I'm doing well, dude. I'm doing well, Christopher. Thanks for asking, man. I'm just doing my own take on this beautiful creature. Uh, I think I just picked up uh, some few small commissions. Yes, awesome, dude. Awesome. I'm struggling with making a falcon closed wing, but taking in mind I don't want it to open. No, taking in mind I want it to open, sorry. Uh, when it comes to posing, getting mad at this. Well, show me your progress. What, what do you, what do you, where are you currently with it? And what I recommend doing is start with the, start with the skeletal structure of it. And then from there, make sure you kind of push it in a way that's going to help um, help you. What's the word I'm looking for? Design it in a way that it's easily breaking, uh, broken apart 
So you, then you can pose it without actually having to... So you can actually pivot things. I'm not sure if you're going for mechanical or if you're going for um, organic, but if you're going for organic, you can still give it a mechanical feel. And then once you pose it, finalize it afterwards. If that's helpful. Model it open would be easier. Absolutely. I mean, we model people in T pose, A pose. Yep. Absolutely. I, I agree with that. Yeah, you definitely want to kind of model that accordingly. Always make it easy for yourself. Rule number one. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's go brush. I mean, a color. Let's go material. Fill object. There we go. Here, real quick. Come here. Add a few more of these. And yes, we are definitely adding some on his face. There we go. Now we can go ahead and go back to our soft plastic. No, oh, maybe not. Fine, toy plastic. Material, go brush, fill. Soft plastic, there we go. There we go. I already love just how easy that was. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm starting to do right now, like a skeleton form uh, form of the wing. Because I, let's see, because uh, I had it like a typical wing shape, but wasn't happy thinking where it was. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, oh, like Ninar said, yeah, I would definitely do it open. What's up, Art? Ooh, very cool. Nice. Ooh, nice. Very cool. Oh, how'd you do the fishnet? How did you approach the fishnet? Really well done. I like that. Did you uh, render this in Blender? Okay, we're going to go ahead and actually take the inflate tool. Go ahead and give it a little bit of thickness here. Kind of pull that blood up a little bit. Thanks, Fishnet was nano mesh. Yep, perfect. And yep, cycles nice. Very cool. Whoa, came to sit back down and saw <laughs> saw an awesome image. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it looked great. Guys with the new ZBrush, if you just hit S and if you just hold S and move your mouse, you get to change your brush size. I'm going to say that like every stream now. It's, <laughs> it's really awesome. There we go. Look at that. There we go. We get a nice big. There we go. So this is a really good way to get blood detail real fast, and I like it. Then we'll go ahead and take the inflate brush. I'll just start clumping it up a little bit. Also tone that down just a lot. 
Now, I know I'm going to have to be careful with how I actually proceed with um, making this 3D printable. So as long as all the mesh is intersecting, it should be okay. Some areas like this will have to get kind of pushed in a little bit. All right, Slow B. Thank you so much, dude. I'm going to be ending in like half an hour, actually. So, greetings. I am Joker. What is happening? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, guys, I got more into uh, Nana Mesh too. Speaking of that fish netting, I'm gonna have to do a whole lot more. Hey, buddy. How is everybody doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're going to kind of smooth down some of these edges here. Let's take the uh, the snake hook brush. Hold alt. Again, we're going to kind of just manipulate some of this a little bit. There we go. How it going? Going pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. So I, uh, I can... Harass you on the Pixel Logic channel tonight? Yes, you can, McBobbles. Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Which I know that's late for people in the UK. But yep. That's where I'll be. And I'm really excited. This Sunday is my first official stream. And I actually, uh, I'm, I got something in mind for sculpting. It'll be a new project. I think that the way I'm going to do my Pixo streams is that I'm going to do start to finish projects as well. Because I'm always, you know, my theme is keeping 3D printing in mind. And so uh, there's a lot to, as the design is happening, there's a lot to consider. And I talk about all that here. So basically what you see here, so it's going to be over on Pixo, uh, just without stream raiders and probably a lot, a lot more people asking questions, which is awesome. I'm really excited about that. So please feel free to stop by, say hello, give me a hard time, tease me, tell everybody I was a 3D noob, and uh, it'll be good. <laughs> Just watching the second best looking sibling create my favorite MK fighter. Yeah, yeah. You got all the looks, brother, I'm telling you. All right, let's take our inflate. All right, let's actually put a little bit more splatter on there. Let's see here. I want to see something. There we go. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. There's a little... What we're going to do is actually... Come here, let's grab this real quick. Okay, perfect. We're just going to hide that for a second. Go a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, here's the blood spatter. Let's actually come back to... Uh... Yeah, let's come back to the toy plastic and let's hit fill. There we go. Let's take the snake hook. Congrats, that's super cool, dude. How'd you land that? Um, thanks, Alexander. Uh, basically, what I did was um, I submitted an application. Um, they uh, they dropped an email uh back in December, and so they said if anybody uh, you know, I think they said it during the the 0.5 release but anyway they long story short they just said like hey if anybody wants to try to join the pixo stream if you think you have what it takes you know like come, come e email here um so i sent an email and then it was a pretty pretty good process where um they vetted me f from december through january they just kind of looked at my socials they asked me a bunch of questions um, wanted to know what I thought I can contribute. Um, 
I told them I streamed, so I already I sent them a bunch of links. They asked to see my portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. So at the end of the day, um, they really just kind of went through everything about who I am. Uh, they wanted to know... They didn't really ask too much about my work history. They just wanted to know how I used the program, et cetera, et cetera. So kind of showcased the whole process on what I'm doing already. And then sent them my work. And then um, they ended up liking what they saw. That's my only, <laughs> it's my only guess because they ended up saying yes, um, which was awesome. So, uh, it, and I'll tell you, the first time they said yes, I was like, you sure? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get that like kind of imposter syndrome for a second, but, um, and I'll tell you some of the most recent project project uh, projects I did can't speak for some reason. Um, Darth Grogu was one of them that really pushed me over to the next level of what people really like to see. And, um, I, I'm really just honored to buy it. So is Restream uh, bot not working right? Yes, something is happening. So I see YouTube comments, but I know some of you on Twitch side do not see YouTube comments, but I do see them, so. Yeah, your Darth Grogu is awesome. Thank you so much, yeah. So yeah, that definitely pushed me over. Um, but yeah, but no, they really vetted me. They asked me a bunch of questions, and we talked for, like I said, almost two months straight. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. All right. We got I, Immortal Wolf, and Death Sacrament. Awesome names, guys. Awesome names. All right, we got time for one more. And then I do have to get going because I have work. And work is good. There we go. Let's switch that back over. Really just get that kind of chunky blood happening. Really just trying to get the nice bit of thickness happening. Because again, we're going to lose so much detail. Um, and I really kind of want that chunky. Yeah, I really want that chunky. I'm even thinking about just doing something like this. Where you just kind of copy... Send this over here, hold control, drag this down. And I rotate that around. Let's push that in there a little bit. Now let's kind of manipulate that with a move brush. Yeah, I kind of get like a little pool of blood happening. Let's actually take the snake hook brush. Gonna hold alt. It's kind of gonna drag around around the normals a bit. There you go. Kind of work that in. There we go. Yeah. You earned it. And thanks for your transparency for the process. Heck yeah, no problem. Thank you guys for all the support. Seriously. When I started streaming uh, almost a year ago, I really didn't think I would be still streaming today. So... I just love being able to hang out with you guys and all of you coming in and hanging out with me has really encouraged me to keep pushing. So thank you guys. We should put some blood like on his collar just a little bit more, right? We should just like, it's like, just like a little bit more.
It's like right there, right? Yeah, that's better. That's that's better, right? Nope. Okay, cool. Let's come in here. Let's hold that. Let's do color and let's do fill object. There we go. Stop plastic. And let's go ahead and inflate this a little bit. Get that chunky chunkiness. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Don't want to drench him. I don't want to drench him in blood. But definitely want to have a little bit of that. That kind of gore factor. Maybe we'll add a little bit more here. There we go. But I think that's going to I think that's going to do it for the for the blood effect. No, not Lynn. Soft plastic. Where are you? That is looking so cool. Updating my ZBrush now. <laughs> I think that the the series Scorpion was my favorite. Yeah, uh, it's funny. A lot of people um, who I used to play with as a kid loved Scorpion. So I chose Sub-Zero out of like, okay, Scorpion's your favorite. I'm going to pick Sub-Zero. But I also love Scorpion as well. But I only really play... Uh, I only played... Um, the original like mk1 mk2 series i didn't really get into it too much past that i was more into street fighter but that's why i'm actually doing my own kind of take on this this version i think it's definitely uh i think it's my favorite look that's how i like sub zero two nice yeah okay yeah. yeah, he's looking fucking awesome. All right, let's go ahead and save one more time. And then let's actually start. Uh, I got to start really messing with the ice a bit more. You always like Kano? Kano was cool, too. Yeah, I agree. I just love the cool skull head with the yellow and black outfit. But never played the game, just saw the movies. Oh, so Sniper, you did you see the trailer for the new one? It's coming out in April, and it'll be out in... Well, it'll be out in theaters, wherever that's open. But it will be out on HBO, I think. I'm, I'm really excited. You should watch the new trailer. If you love the original movie, I think you're really going to like... Uh, like where they're going with this next one, so. Okay, real quick, let's take trim dynamic. Got a weird sharp edge here. And we need to soften that up a bit. Smooth that down, and let's go back to getting uh, skin pores put back where they belong. There we go. Still waiting for the Batman movie. Yeah, right? Did you just watch Monster Hunter with Mila? No, I didn't. Is it good? Mila Jovovich. Is it good? Because uh, it was a badass movie, but a lot of people didn't like it only because it didn't follow the game, which it was never intended to do. Interesting. I'm going to have to check it out. I've always liked her movies, but I always found her movies a bit campy. So when I watch one of her movies, I never watch it for like seriousness. You know what I mean? Like I watch her movies to have a good time. Like nobody sits down and watches The Rock and says it's going to be an Academy Award winning, you know, movie. Like it's going to be fun. Um, that's that's how I would sit down and watch it. 
can't uh, I can't into buying another uh, streaming service. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, dude. I totally get that. But all the monsters are from the game. That's cool. All right, let's get into some making the ice a little bit more realistic here, or a little bit more fun, I should say. So what we're gonna do is actually really just get nuts here, trim dynamic, and we're gonna start adding in imperfections ourselves. It's the best way to do it, I find. Not how IR lost his job on Rampage 2. <laughs> yeah. She was reminiscent of Alice from Resident Evil. Yeah. The Resident Evil series was fun, uh, but it was definitely campy. There we go. Okay, we're actually going to take a nice big brush here and actually kind of push a little bit. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. There you go. Just get a little bit of... Because ice is not just straight, you know what I mean? Like, it has its... It has warbliness to it. It has purposeful moves. Or movement. We can kind of just lightly start hitting these corners. Yeah, Cappy was my fave Bruce Campbell in the <laughs> Evil Dead series. The originals? Oh, man. Yes. Yes. Bruce Campbell's amazing. Did you watch... Um, I want to talk about Campy. Uh, did you watch Burn Notice? Because he was in that. And what a great, great show. It got really weird and really dark all at the same time. Uh, but Bruce Campbell was always just such a pleasure to have on screen. <laughs> yeah, a few times tonight, nice. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're actually going to go ahead and delete hidden. Oh, we can't do that? We can't do that? Okay. I'm going to freeze subdivision levels. That's usually dangerous for some people. Delete hidden and freeze them. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. Yeah. He wanted to do another Evil Dead, but they talked him into that TV series instead, which I think flopped a movie. Would have been better. Yeah, I, th I think so too. It probably seemed more lucrative for a TV series on a financial level, but yeah, it, it definitely can get weird uh, pretty quickly, actually. Okay, we're actually going to go large, and then we're going to drop down that spike a little bit. Really just kind of crush this. Pop this out here. see if we can maybe maybe honestly we actually make it kind of like a oh here we go okay just had this idea we go big and we're gonna really crush it Kind of do something like that. What we're going to do is actually come over here to the clip curve. And for those of you who don't know, if you hold spacebar and then you hold control shift, you actually get the option for.
for that intensity, we can actually come around and start reshaping what we want out of that. There we go. We only need what we what we need out of it. Everything else gets clipped. So it's not really crushing as much. It'll just kind of nudge that into place. There we go. Now we're going to take the H polish. And we're really going to start kind of pushing that in. And what we can do as well, really just make sure we hit some of these icy flats. Then at the end of the day, let's come up here to Z plugin. And I have it set up where I like to have Dynamesh, Dynamesh Utility or Dynamesh Master. Completely up to you, whichever one you want to use. They're both great. Uh, they're both free plugins. Um, and we're going to go ahead and actually kick this at 0.5. Blur, turn that down, and then go ahead and Dynamesh it which gets rid of all that crunching that I had done originally. And now we can really just sit here and kind of manipulate it as we see fit. And I'm looking for that sharp edge or those plane changes. We ended up doing... Um, uh, Bruce Campbell ended up doing uh, another Evil Dead, and I, I really liked that one. I thought the good one was, I thought it was pretty cool, but I want I want him to do more personal projects. I like the stuff that he's done before, so hopefully he'll end up doing a little bit more fun Evil Dead stuff. He's one of those actors that I feel like kind of falls off and then comes back. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and actually, no, we don't need to do anything. We don't need to. Let's go to geometry. We're gonna go to clean polish. We're gonna increase the sharpness and we're gonna increase the edge just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is when we do this, it's going to crisp up these edges really well. And actually soften that. Soften that mask a little bit. Let's come to kind of a lighter bluish white. Let's go ahead and fill that. There we go. Kind of gives us a little bit rougher material. Something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and Let's see here. We got to go to toy plastic. Let's actually turn around and we're going to fill that. So we get a little bit of shiny. Then we're going to go slash three. Yeah, let's do slash three. Actually, slash three or slash two. No, slash three. And then where we have these cuts here, these cracks, actually, now let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's go to toolbox. I don't like the initial layout of new ZBrush. Some box in the upper left and right shows a bar with some weird face. Oh, well, the, um, hold on. Uh, the box is actually a silhouette like this. If you can see a white box right here, it's actually a, the silhouette so that you can check your silhouette as you're sculpting. Um, I have it inverted to the white. Uh, the difference between insert and append, an insert will actually just insert the next, uh, you'll actually come here and hit, nope, not delete. You'll insert and when you insert a new plane, it actually just kind of drops it down and selects that where append will just append the, the sub tool, but it doesn't select it. 
So if you hit insert and say here cylinder, uh, my cylinder is now selected. But if I were to go ahead and hit delete on that one, if I were to go append and then append a cube, um, it, it added it, but it did not select it. You have to then go ahead and select. So if you want, if you know you're gonna have a lot of uh, different objects, you can append a bunch and then you can select the ones that you need. You're welcome. Box. Yeah. I think what it is, is that the spike is just too big. We'll end up doing a lot of little ones. Same thing here. Let's go fill object. Oops, that's color. Go material. My plastic, yeah. Oh, okay, you're going to do that. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let's let's do the game standard. We're actually going to go really heavy on this and then we're going to go really small. And we're going to add in our own cracks. Kind of add in what we think was good. Kind of just doing my own thing here. There we go. Add in a few extra ones. How do you get rid of the silhouette thing? Or at least invert it. If you want to invert it, you go to preferences. And then it is... Yep, yeah, okay, hold on. You're going to save. It's thumbnail. So if you go to preferences, usually it's set to white for example like this so just go to preferences thumbnail and actually select a true black color by clicking the background dragging it and then it turns it white and then if you click and drag the silhouette you can actually make it smaller or bigger and then if you don't want it you can actually just turn off thumbnail and then you don't have to have it so it, it is all on it it's all up to you I find it very useful because when I'm looking at the model as a whole, what I used to do is actually go to outline like this and actually look at the silhouette. So this this saves me the trouble of having to do that. So now I can just kind of look at the silhouette here in the corner and get an idea on how it's reading without ever having to, to do anything else. Okay. Got a couple more minutes. On the right side of the bar, there's the original with some blocky face. Yeah, that's your orientation. Uh, so you can come up to preferences, and that's cam view. You can turn it off, or you can pick a face, or you can even make one. So if you don't like that stuff, just turn it off. But that's cam view. I'll have to look up some videos on this new one. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot. There's a lot there. Not going to lie. <laughs> these spikes. I'm not quite sure if I like these spikes or not. 
We're going to go ahead and put these in a folder, call them spikes. Sometimes you have an idea and then you spend too long working it out and then you're like, mm, I don't really like it. <laughs> and that's okay. Go. Perfect. If I turn it off. Pick this one up a little bit more. Sometimes simpler is better. Even with this guy right here. Also, too, sometimes the color just throws you off. Kind of push that in a little bit. Okay, I got ZBrush in. Got her in ZBrush, uploading the image. I'm going to put the boots on top. Nice, nice. Making some hair for the monster. Posted in Blender, yeah! Let's take a look, let's take a look. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I need to sleep. Nice. Yeah. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. That's perfect. Oh, carbon. I didn't even see that. Nice, dude. That you got this guy. Nice. Ooh, look at that red wax. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. I love the boot details. Holy crap. I can't wait to see this finish, man. You know what we're gonna do too? We're gonna duplicate this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and kind of I'm gonna do this thing where we're gonna like kind of push the ice out a little bit. Yeah. Not every circ not everything has to be circular. There we go, look at that. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that. Just shy. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Also, cut down, cut down her top more than add uh, beading and stripes and straps. Probably what I'll be working on later. Today. Nice. I'll be streaming her and saving my streams in case people want to watch. Yeah, drop your in my Discord. Drop 
uh, feel free to join it and then drop a uh, post your stream link. It's where everybody can come, drop their stuff, help promote your stuff. Please feel free to, to join in there and share. Show us what you got. Share it with us. There we go. We're actually going to take this color. And only one more shot of 90 proof of the clear in a bottle, so better get me another bottle. Another two bottles, hell yeah. Most affiliated just lack the viewer thingy. Nah, totally. Oh, well, the work like that, man, just keep it up. You'll get there. Come on. There we go. You know what I'm going for, ZBrush. There we go. All right, guys. This is about where we're going to stop the day. Let's go ahead and save it out real quick. Let's actually create like a little bit of um, a render real fast. So we can see him in all of his glory. So let's go ahead and... Move dynamics over. Let's hit our lights. We'll get the light shining from where he's looking. Hide that. I'll actually turn this back light on. Push that back there. Let's get like a red light. So we get a nice, a very nice, colorful. And then for this, actually get some blue coming up off over here. Just a little bit of a fill light. But we'll go light. We'll go points. Let's go points three. Also two. Let's change the material to like a uh, something like that. Let's hit render real fast just to see what we're looking at. awesome thank you so much thank you all right man it was nice hanging with you today absolutely thank you so much i am joker uh, so i'm out for the day wish everyone like see everybody next time absolutely this is also how you crash the brush <laughs>
Yeah, there you go. And that separates him ever so slightly. Let's go ahead and save the lights out. And then I like to save the render out as well. But first, but wait, there's more. Beep, uh, let's go filters. Let's turn this one on. Instead of noise, we're actually going to do outline cavity. We're going to turn on sharpening and we'll turn on Orton, which will be awesome. Drop Orton down just a little bit though. There we go. And there he is so far. Looking pretty awesome, I think. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's save out our... Hit save on the render so that we can save those settings. And now let's do stream radars. And then that is it for the day, guys. All right. Oh, no one's school went live. Very cool. All right. That is it, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Death Sacrament. Good job, buddy. Good job. I clicked all that fun stuff. All right, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all. Well, I'll see you Sunday. If you guys want to come hang out. Remember, it's the Pixel Logic one. That's where I'll be. See you guys Sunday. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye, -bye.